One thing that keeps me puzzled, despite having studied finance and economics at the world's best universities, the following question remains unanswered. Why is it that 5,000 units of our currency is worth one unit of your currency, where we are the ones with the actual gold reserves? Sometimes we find ourselves asking these questions. Why is African poor with all the resources that we have? I bring to you this video. I want you to kindly watch the video to the end and put your opinion down in the comment section. It's quite evident that the aid is in fact not coming from the West to Africa, but from Africa to the Western world. The Western world depends on Africa in every possible way, since alternative resources are scarce out here. So how does the West ensure that the free aid keeps coming? By systematically destabilizing the wealthiest African nations and their systems, and all that backed by huge PR campaigns. Leaving the entire world under the impression that Africa is poor and dying and merely surviving on the mercy of the West. Well done, Oxfam, UNICEF. Red Cross, Life Aid, and all the other organizations that continuously run multi-million dollar advertisement campaigns depicting charity porn to sustain that image of Africa globally. Ad campaigns paid for by innocent people under the impression to help with their donations. While one hand gives under the flashing lights of cameras, the other takes in the shadows. It's super sweet of you to come with your colored paper in exchange for our golden diamonds. But instead, you should come empty-handed, filled with integrity and honor. We want to share with you our wealth and invite you to share with us. The perception is that a healthy and striving Africa would not disperse its resources as freely and cheaply, which is logical. Of course, it would instead sell its resources at world market prices, which in turn would destabilize and weaken Western economies, established on the post-colonial free meal system. Last year, the IMF reports that six out of ten of the world's fastest growing economies are in Africa, measured by their GDP growth. The French Treasury, for example, is receiving about $500 billion year in, year out. The foreign exchange reserves from African countries, based on colonial debt, they force them to pay. Former French President Jacques Chirac stated in an interview recently that we have to be honest and acknowledge that a big part of the money in our banks comes precisely from the exploitation of the African continent. In 2008, he stated that without Africa, France will slide down in the rank of a third world power. This is what happens in the human world, the world we have created. Have you ever wondered how things work in nature one would assume that in evolution the fittest survives. However, in nature, any species that over, is overhunting, overexploiting the resources they depend on as nourishment, natural selection would sooner or later take the predator out because it offsets the balance. Good afternoon. I am Malens. My country is called Sierra Leone. The land is golden literally a true paradise we have a very strong cultural heritage in fact Sierra Leone had the first sub-saharan university prior to that there was one in the kingdom of Timbuktu which was the first university in the world succeeding the great Gnostic schools of Egypt and Osiris on a deeper level we are blessed with the real treasures the kings and queens of this world desire. 
This was the largest alluvial diamond ever found. It weighs almost a thousand carats, 969 to be precise. This beauty was found by an old lady in her backyard about two years ago, 125 carats. Some people mine gold in their backyards. That's quite common. Besides gold and diamonds, we have about 20 precious minerals that have been discovered as of today. We recently started extracting huge petroleum reserves that have been discovered. We have platinum, ilmenite to make titanium, rutile to coat jets, iron ore, the largest iron ore deposits in Africa, the third largest in the world. Tantalite, also known as coltan, used in your mobile phones and computers, bauxite for aluminium production, zinc, chrome ore, copper, coal, phosphates, potassium, salt, lead, granite, asbestos, nickel, zircon. Furthermore, we have exquisite timber like mahogany, antique. <laughs> Of course, the West needs Africa's resources most desperately to power airplanes, cell phones, computers, and engines. And the gold and diamonds, of course, a status symbol to determine their powers by decor and to give value to their currencies. One thing that keeps me puzzled despite having studied finance and economics at the world's best universities. The following question remains unanswered. Why is it that 5,000 units of our currency is worth one unit of your currency, where we are the ones with the actual gold reserves? Not be deluded that the world is full of benevolent individuals and institutions whose only claim to fame is that they want to lift Africa from the morass that she now finds herself in. The reality is, the poverty of Africa is the glory of some civilizations. Poverty is an industry. Ignorance is an industry. Big industry. And there are those who want Africa to continue to wallow in poverty and to wallow in ignorance because it is their safest bet to their continued benefit. The day we wake up to that reality, the safer we are. That is why the English had this beautiful saying, let sleeping dogs lie. So we are sleeping and we are being allowed to lie. And we are being hypnotized into even greater sleep and slumber to dream even further. But I'm telling us if Africa is to realize our dream, we must wake up. If Africa is to win the lottery, we must buy the lottery ticket. We must think of another Africa. This video is a must watch for everyone african american black americans even nigerians or africans we need to watch this video you need to share this video and let's be knowledgeable of what is going on around us and my name is maria davis and thank you all so much for watching this video today. and let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section i would love to hear from you all and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe share and i'll see you in my next one